Welcome to beautiful Biscayne Bay and today's live extreme event, Miami Surf and Turf. From the water to the beaches to the heart of the city, we're serving up a racing combo platter of everything that makes Miami great. Brought to you by Live. We make the cameras, you make the action. this event, we wanted a sizzling, mouth-watering land and sea odyssey that would leave our viewers hungry for more. And since Miami is practically synonymous with speedboats and sports cars, it was the only oven hot enough to handle this racing recipe. So bon appetit, race fans. It's time to get cooking. Those cruise ships showcase one of the many luxuries Miami has to offer, while those bridge pillars showcase one of the many hazards our designers built into the course. No surprises at who's just taken the lead. Will the sun ever set on this competitor? Let's get out of the water and get ready for a high-speed blow-dry. Whoops, looks like we may have left a few things on the beach. Hope our drivers don't let those slow them down. We've had our surf, we've had our turf, so now it's time for dessert, speed. Forget squirrels or raccoons, here in Miami, the local wildlife includes alligators who make their homes in those waterways. Dog owners, if you move to Miami, be sure to keep your pets on a short leash. These are the Venetian Islands, a group of artificial islands constructed in the bay and connected by a bridge originally built in part by racing pioneer Carl G. Fisher. If only he could see what we're doing now. Racers are on the final stretch to the finish line in downtown Miami. And with those hypercars capable of speeds up to 450 kilometers per hour, that's 280 miles per hour, folks, they'll be there before you know it. What a finish!
finished of the Live Extreme Series Miami Surf and Turf. Be sure to follow us on social media. Until our next exciting, unprecedented Live Extreme event, have a cold one, slip on your shades, and enjoy your time in beautiful Miami. I know I will. in upstate New York for race number five in the Live Extreme Series. And boy, have we got a twist for you. We're gonna show you some familiar territory in a whole new way. Cameras for the Toughest Conditions is proud to present one of the most exhilarating races on the circuit. And it may be exhilarating, but it's also as tough as our cameras. To make it to the finish line on this one, you have to be among the best. The good news is, that is exactly what we have for you today. The best. go out on a limb here and say that even if he's just in striking distance of the lead now, you're still watching our next champion. They're heading across the covered bridge. The most modern cars in the world thundering their way across an antique. Now that's what I call a spectacle.
Is that the Big Apple we see in the distance? Well now, at this speed, our drivers will be taking a bite out of it in no time at all. Time to take things to the next level. Seems like someone really wants to be on top of things. This is it, first place, and with style. What a ride, ladies and gentlemen, what a ride. Round and round and round they go. Places are switching all the time now. It's not really surprising. It's a challenging course. Let's make a splash with our grand finale. Be careful not to get dizzy now because this next section in Central Park has a lot of curves and they're all tight ones. What a place to host the finest in jet sprint racing. What a place, folks. Just look at the view, because our pilot sure can.
time for our racers to really pour it on. 